I'm Juliana from Hardcore Italians, and you're watching Italian Things with G. Today, we're gonna be going over our blog post titled, Top 5 Unfailing Italian Remedies When Sick. Andiamo. From chamomile tea to Vicks, there are just some things that Italians cannot live without when they're sick. So without further ado, here are the top five Italian cures for when you're sick. Coming in at number one, chamomile tea. Prendete una camomilla literally translates to make yourself a chamomile tea in Italian. It's basically like the English equivalent of chill out. Now this Italian love tea has been known to be able to treat anxiety, prevent cancer, and even treat insomnia. It is the perfect relaxation tea. And this makes sense because chamomile tea can definitely make somebody relax. And that's the tea on chamomile tea. <laughs> number two, Vicks. Has your family ever told you to rub Vicks on your feet? Because if they have, they're not crazy. When you have a stuffy nose or if you have some kind of like congestion going on, throw some Vicks vape rub on your feet and you are good to go. The next day you'll feel cured. Number three, wine. Drinking a moderate amount of wine can actually increase immunity among 200 viruses that cause colds. And if you haven't watched it already, I did make an entire video about the benefits of red wine and how it can help your overall health. So definitely check it out. Number four, brioschi. Brioschi is magic to Italians when they have stomach issues. This is perfect for when your stomach needs to settle. You know, like after Sunday dinner, you just had a bunch of food and like there's like stuff going on. It's starting to make noises. You feel uncomfortable, maybe like acid reflux. Brioschi is used to relieve heartburn or like indigestion, you know, like what Italians call agita. And lastly, number five, pastina. Pastina is the ultimate Italian comfort food. Pastina soup is full of nutrients and protein that instantly makes you feel better. And it's not just what's in the pastina soup or how it tastes, it's really about the love that your nana or your mother put into making the soup for you. I know a lot of people will agree with me when I say that pastina soup is amazing for what it is, you know, the taste of it, you know, having all the nutrients and the protein and like kind of settling your stomach and all that. But for me, consuming pastina soup that was made by my mother or my nonna heals me in a different way. I know in my heart that whoever prepared this pastina soup for me, whether it be my mother or my nonna or whoever, put all their good intentions, all their love, all their energy into this soup because they knew I was feeling sick and they wanted to cure me. So I feel like it's, you know, it's more than just the amazing pastina soup. It's the intention behind it. It is like the physical form of like love from your mother or from your nonna and wanting you to feel better. It's like a get well soup. You know, some people like a get well soon balloon, like flowers when you're sick, like feel better, a card. Pastina soup, it trumps all of those. This has the good intention and it's gonna cure you and it's gonna be the most amazing thing you've ever had. It's like a three for one. Have you ever tried any of these Italian remedies when you were sick? Leave us a comment down below and don't forget to tag a paisan. This was Italian Things with G and thanks for watching. Ciao!